Hi, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing seafoam cleaning of the upper valves and uh, that uh, intake system. It's a spray can and uh, it says to warm up the engine and then spray the can of seafoam while uh, the engine is running. So we're going to do just that and then see if I can notice any difference in the car. So the reason why I'm doing it is just, just because um, I want to try it, first of all, and the second of all, I have a bit of a vibration from the engine. I, I'm not sure, maybe it's something in the intake um, that's dirty that we can, we can clean with the seafoam. So anyway, I'm going to try it and uh, show you how to do it and tell you if I see any difference. So now I have removed the cover from the engine and here is the intake, here is the intake, here is the um, mass, mass sensor and we don't want to spray this in the mass sensor so I've seen some people put it in here, the tube and spray it but the instructions say to put it here so we might try doing this and then I'm gonna see which way the throttle body opens and direct this thing, the tube, in here and spray it. So I think now it has warmed up enough and we're gonna switch it off and put the tube in. This is where we're, we're gonna be putting it in. So now we need to open the screw for that it's a bit rusty here so I'm gonna hold this clamp with the pliers and try to unscrew this but if you don't hold it this can just twist this whole plate can just twist so I loosened it a little bit now let's take this off. Yep, it's off. So now I'm gonna uh, push the accelerator pedal and see how the throttle plate moves. This, this plate in there is a throttle plate. So now you'll be able to see how the throttle plate moves. Did you see it? I guess you didn't see it. So it didn't move. It's probably electronic on this newer model. Uh, on my older Lexus, it's still mechanical. That's okay because I hope there is a mark here T that means stop I hope it's opening oh, we can open it ourselves probably no we oh we can okay so it's opening up like on the picture here but it's upside down we're gonna we'll need to put the the tube from below so that's that shouldn't be too hard let's try that so i've made the, the i bent the tube like this now it's gonna go in there and we're gonna clamp it i think i'm gonna go here from the side kind of and then it's gonna spray there in the bottom roughly but but first i'm gonna spray a bit on the throttle plate itself so it soaks a little bit and cleans all the carbon off now i'm gonna fit the tube just like this and put the rubber hose on bit dusty in here okay 
so I'm not even gonna close it too tightly I'm just gonna press it in so it's kind of tight but not too tight because I don't think I'm gonna fit the rubber over this plastic bit so now all that's left to do is start the car up then I'm gonna connect the tube to the bottle and spray for seven minutes while holding the RPM at 2000. So let's start the car up. Good, started right up. And here is my hack for the for increasing the RPMs. I'm gonna put this wooden plank and rest it onto my mat here to keep the RPMs oh it's now a bit too high okay we need to keep it 2000 that's perfect so now I'm gonna put this in and spray it We have now a lot of smoke. I'm gonna keep spraying it. I have now smoke everywhere. I opened my garage door, but it's just blowing in. Crazy. The engine is vibrating a bit, as you can probably see. The RPMs are going up and down. So it's now finally empty. There's almost nothing to spray. I think we're finished. I'm gonna shut down the engine and let it sit for 10 minutes. And this will be our hot soap. we had a lot of smoke so now I'm gonna close it back and let it sit for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna just drive the car I spilled some of it here I'm gonna try to clean it off with some brake cleaner so now let's remove the this thingy and close this back where it was put this where it was and tighten the screw. So now I'm gonna drive the car as usual and try to go on, on the highway to try to burn off all the stuff that got dislodged there. And it stinks a bit in the car, so I opened the window. But otherwise the car is running, so nothing major yet. Let's see how it performs on the highway and in the city. So now I've been driving the car for a few weeks. And to be honest, I didn't notice much of anything um, maybe the car accelerates a little better 
uh, that's the the only thing I noticed I, I didn't get uh, lower vibrations from the engine I didn't get any more or less noise um, it did uh, absolutely nothing that I can notice um, maybe it's uh, it's a good preventative thing to do maybe I didn't have much build up there who knows so if you have something <clears throat> weird happening to your car and you want to try something like this you may try it but odds are it will do nothing for you um, unless maybe you know that you have a lot of build up there and you need to clean it up so that's my five cents on it so let me know if you had any success or stories with seafoam or did it do anything for you uh, did you notice any improvement did it do something bad to your car let me know down in the comments and i'll be interested to read about it and see you in the next one bye